Alright guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. The Q codes are widely used on SSB radio as well as on many other bands and are used specifically when given instructions on the radio. Calling CQ is the understood way to say I am calling any station on a frequency. CQDX, CQDX. Probably the most commonly heard is CQDX, meaning calling any long distance station. CQDX, CQDX. There are some variations, such as CQ 11 meters. CQ 11 meters, CQ 11 meters. Or CQ any US stations. Where one is saying, can anyone respond to me in the 11 meters band, and the other, any US stations. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. You may also add division codes. For example, any two six stations, meaning any UK stations. CQ, any division two six station. CQ, any two six station. You would normally include your call sign as part of the CQ call, so people will know who to respond to. For example, You would then wait to hear a response, such as Charlie Tango Station, or someone may announce their call sign when responding. This is Alpha Papa Two Zero calling Charlie Tango One Nine Nine Four. You then will have made a contact. You will usually then be asked, or should suggest, moving off of the calling channel. You would ask your contact to QSY to another frequency. You would then move to the suggested frequency and wait to be called. Alpha Papa Zero calling Charlie Tango 1994. Alpha Papa Two Zero calling Charlie Tango 1994. To qualify as a true QSO, a number of pieces of information need to be understood by both operators. This is especially important in DX competitions. A QSO normally consists of the operator call sign, the operator personal, the operator QTH, and a signal report. If recording this in the logbook, you would also record the date, time, and frequency the contact was made. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.